this short movie will present how to use the Orsonia, a battery-powered hand driver, which was designed especially for mini implants from Jail Medical Cooperation. This hand driver is installed with a rechargeable battery. When it is not being used, just put it in the recharging stand. Here are the accessories. They are used with the Orsonia. First, pick up the Orsonia from the recharging stand. While the black portion is pulled down with your thumb and first finger, put the chalk into the Orsonia main body. After combining two portions, release the black portion. To fix the long straight wrench, pull down the small black portion with your thumb and first finger. Then, put the long straight wrench into the hole and release the small black portion. Select the adequate mini implant into the wrench. Push the main power switch on the bottom of the main body for 2 seconds. The LED screen will be turned on. The second switch from the bottom is the torque switch. Each press increases the torque 5 newton. You can see the digit being changed from 5 to 30 newton. 30 newton is my favorite level and a resistance over 30 newton will stop the motor. I hope this feature will reduce the root damage. The third switch from the bottom is the RPM switch. You can select high, medium and low speed. My favorite speed is low one. The fourth switch is a forward and reverse. Forward is used to insert a mini implant. Reverse is used to remove it. After setup, give the on-off button a slight press. One press will turn on the motor and the other press will stop it. You can set up the insertion torque and RPM for forward rotation. And you can also set up the removing torque and RPM for reverse rotation separately. If you want to use the angle, please remove the chalk. The direction of angle head can be adjusted every 45 degree angle. Pull down the black portion and rotate the angle to the direction you want. A bird eye wrench can be installed like the conventional burrs. A long one is uh, good for a mid palatal mini implant. A short one is good for placing mini implants on the posterior interradicular areas, the maxillary tuberosity, and the lateromolar pad. A clinical case will be presented. This case has a mild clouding with a good facial profile. For distal driving of molars, four 10 mm mini implants were placed in the maxillary tuberosity and the lateromolar pad areas respectively. Because of a small space for operation, the angle and uh, a short bird type wrench were used. You can see the wrench is rotating in low RPM mode. This patient had good bones on the maxillary tuberosity and lateromolar pad area. With this Orsonia, we can give more focus on the direction and position of a mini implant while placing it. And also I think root damage may be reduced by the automatic stop feature. Mm -hmm.